بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم Now moving on we've discussed uh, jumla khabariya have we khabariya before khabariya is to give information to state information and jumla insha'iya is to uh, make a request a wish etc so for example simple example sayaqulu sufaha'u min an-nas the ignorant people will say information is khabariya and khabariya is uh, you inform the addressee or listeners uh, no so the original the, the primary purpose the primary purpose of khabariya is to inform you of something you don't know guess what it's raining outside you were inside you didn't see the rain falling now you know correct yes the second purpose another purpose is what I said oh you were in town yesterday if you were in town yesterday did you know don't you but why am I saying that I'm surprised I'm trying to tell you I know as well you get what I'm saying so you can also inform the addressee that, that oh, they listen, I, speak, I know this oh you guys were playing outside yesterday weren't you I saw you guys were playing outside yesterday and you said you never had time to do sabbat but you were playing outside so I'm telling you for what people think oh these guys are getting in trouble now on the video forever you you become history like in, in YouTube forever you were doomed and this they never learn yourself up it's recorded for life yeah you follow so for example it's a hadith of Jibreel you all know this hadith what happened the angel Jibreel came in human form and he asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa certain questions mal iman mal islam mal ihsan yes and each time what did Jibreel I mean say sadaqta you have spoken the truth why is it sadaqta to either inform the Prophet or inform those around him that I know what he's saying, I know what you're saying. So obviously the Prophet knows he was truthful, don't, doesn't, doesn't he? But it's to either inform others that I'm also aware of this fact. So sometimes you may not want to give information to a person who's unaware, you may want to inform them that I also know. Okay? And uh, the names of these, technical names of these come up in Bhutu Allah again later on. Okay? Yes? Another purpose of Khabariya is maybe I don't want to, I don't want to, um, tell you something that you don't know I don't want to let you know that I know I just want to seek your mercy for example uh, let's say for example I've got to register I know you missed two weeks because you were sick but examiner say why did I miss two weeks I know that what's the point go easy on the marking which I will never do obviously but but what but what what's the purpose of that sentence I, was, I missed two weeks because I was not well what's the purpose of that sentence have mercy. Qala Sayyidina Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. When he left from Misr after the after he stopped the person and the person died, he went and he said, Qala Rabbi inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqir. Oh my Lord, I am faqir. I am in need of the khayr, the good that you will send down unto me. I need that. I need this. Are you following? So Allah knows that. Allah knows that. Allah knows everything, isn't it? Yes? What did Sayyidina, Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam say in the, in the, in the fi batni al-hut, in the stomach of the fish? Rabbi anni masani yadur wa anta arham rahimin Yes? Was that you? Ayyub or Yunus? Yunus. Rabbi anni masani yadur. So Allah knows masahu dur. But why is he saying this? To express your weakness, to show seek pity, to seek mercy. So the maqsood is not to inform, but to seek pity and to seek mercy. To show happiness? فَمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا وَبَقَانَا عَذَابَ السَّمُومِ In Jannah, what will happen? This is, this is what the statement they will say. مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَا Allah favored us. Everybody knows that. Because we're all in Jannah together. Insha'Allah. وَبَقَانَ عَذَابَ السَّمُومِ He saved from the punishment of the fire, scorching fire. Why are you saying this? You're happy. أَلْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي أَوْرَثَنَا الْأَرْضِ أَلْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي أَوْرَثَنَا الْجَنَّةِ نَ so they say, Alhamdulillah, praise to Allah. Well, if you say praise to Allah, if it's insha'iyah, like you, you're initiating praise, then that'll be insha'ah. But uh, you could look at it both ways. If Qabriya as well, that's a bit more technical. You do it in Jalalain, insha'Allah. You following? So those are some purposes of khabar. So either you want to tell somebody, the, the, the main reason is what? You don't know, I'm telling you. Like the whole lesson is Jumla Qabriya. Yes? So you do Jumla Qabriya for five years. In Marisa, all Jumla Qabriya, innit? Telling you things you don't know. And then you can also have what? Exams is what? What's the exams? To tell us that you know. In the exams, what do you do? You tell us that I know the answer. Yes? 
And then after you can have other purposes. Seeking mercy, seeking pity. And this is only a few of them. You, have more, you can have so many other reasons. Yes? One point here is, sometimes you can use a jumla khabariya even though your intended purpose is in sha'iya. What happens? What's your purpose? What's the purpose? In sha'iya. But what's shi'a do? What form do you use? Khabariya. Is akhazna mithaqakum. We took a pledge and a covenant from you, from the Banu Israel. La tasfikuna dima'akum wa la tukhrijuna anfusakum min diyarikum. You will not shed blood and you will not expel each other from your houses. Let's say, for example, I say, uh, don't, say don't, don't do that. One is, you will not speak in class. But that's not come on, is it? You will not speak in class. No, that's in the seerah. Originally, was you will not speak in class as information, isn't it? Originally, you're right, you're correct. You, when you say maybe, that's correct. Originally, you will not speak in class without any tone, without any context. What is it? What is it? Khabariya. But what's the intention? Ahukam. Do not speak in class. Young man, you will not leave the house this weekend. What does that mean? Don't leave the house. It's, it's a statement, but we're saying that this statement is so factual. What happens now? It's like a khabar. You will write all of the words I say ten times. How do you know I'm, you will write it out? I don't know. I'm not, it's not a statement, is it? What is it? A command, but very, like a very authoritative command. So last thing, la tasfikuna dima akum. You will not shed blood. You will not expel each other. So, so you say love is what love The word itself is no love, not the meaning, the word. Khabariya ma'nan. Insha'iyah. So, lafzan is khabariya ma'nan insha'iyah. Do you understand? La rafatha wa la fusuqa wa la jidala fil hajj. Well, there should be. Where is should coming from? There's no should in there, is it? It literally means there is no obscenity, no sin, and no quarrel. Everybody quarrels in hajj. Everybody gets vexed and loses their temper. That means the Quran is wrong. It's khabar, isn't it? The word lafzan, what is it? Khabariya, isn't it? There is no argument in Hajj. Everybody argues. It means a command. There should be no. Do not argue in Hajj. But Allah is using it in a negative, like a, a statement to emphasize the hukam. So you can have a jumla khabariya, love. But the meaning is what? What's the meaning? In sha'iyya. So it's amr basically. I do not be obscene, do not sin, and do not argue and quarrel in Hajj. So love then is in khabariya, ma'nan is in sha'iyya. Context or you have to familiar with the style, language. Because that's why you have to get, understand this, the context, the language, the way it was revealed, circumstances, how the Arabs use it. If you do poetry, you do, you do poetry, you do literature to understand the Arabic styles. So you don't end up making bloopers. Opposite way around. In Sha'iyya, love, but the meaning is what? Khabariya. Amara Rabbi bil qist. Amara Rabbi. Bilqist. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded me to be just. Qist is what? Justice. Allah has commanded me to be what? Just. Wa aqimu wujuhakum in the kulli masjid. Now, what is it? What's the first telling us? Allah commanded me to be justice and to establish salah. Following? But instead of saying, Amar Rabbi bil qisti wa salah. If you're writing, we say, Aqimu, uh, Amar Rabbi bil qisti wa salah. But by changing the khabariya to an insha'iya, Amar, it kind of focuses the emphasis on salah. Amar Rabbi bil qist wa amarani an uqimu. So, like, you change the style from khabariya to insha'iya here. Do you understand? So, it creates a bit more emphasis, a bit more focus. And you have to remember that, uh, like, to us, it seems weird that it doesn't flow. Amar Rabbi bil Qist, like one Allah commanded him to do be just, be, Allah commanded justice, and then he established salah. It doesn't like throw in it to us in English. It's like because we're not familiar with this. Like for example, if you look, you know, like long, you know, like, remember Charlie Chaplin? Oh, that's really old. It's like, like, before that, like the comedy, one little man is standing up doing funny things. One, like how we have like, one camera. That's it, one camera. 
And nowadays, in any, even like, what everybody has, you have one camera here. Even, even in like Bayan lectures, you have one camera here, a camera zooms in, innit? And all of a sudden, it pans out. And then you have another camera from this angle. No? Then another angle from the whole crowd inside. So that's kind of confusing, isn't it, really? It's for you, it's not confusing, because you're familiar with this. But another person's like, what's going on here? What's happened? I can't remember which book, I read it somewhere, I forgot to note it. That one person, one person from the village or from thing, on his village is like, I don't know, where he's not familiar with it. He came to the city, like, outside the cinema, and he's, he's like, he got well baffled. I forgot what's going on on the screen. Because like, everything is changing. Like, all of a sudden, you're, you're, you're first person, then third person. It's like, to us, it's like, but that's, to us, we grew up with this different camera angles all the time. So the Arabs, this change in style, is like, that's how they, they understand this. So to us, it seems, so that's why we can't try to understand Arabic through English. Do you understand? Like, for example, you might say, well, the Quran, it is a flow. One place you have, like, Surah Baqarah, talking about Israel, then they go to, to another story, another story. But I've never seen documentaries. They said a documentary on racism. We say, let's start about racism. We start off where? England, 2020. And then from there, it zooms back to what? It's just slavery. Then it goes back to slavery. There's a scene from slavery days. Then it goes another scene from what? America in the 19, early 19th, 20th century. We, we, our mind processes, isn't it? It's not, it's not in linear order, is it? But that's how people make documentaries. It's a style. So the Quran is like that. So you, you can't expect to understand uh, uh, because we don't understand it. Oh, it doesn't make sense. It's not in order. It doesn't say in the beginning there was nothing and God created everything and the last part is and the end, and, and the end of heaven. You get what I'm saying? That's one way of doing it, but that's not the only way of doing it. Anyway, this is a bit of a digression. You can use Mahdi instead of Mudari. What can happen? You use Mahdi instead of Mudari. So for example, Ata Amrullah. Easy example. Jazakallah. What does Jazakallah mean? May, where's May coming from? Where do you get May from? Don't get scared. I'm joking. Huh? Where's May come from? Because Jazakallah is passing. Allah has rewarded you. So what? Okay, Alhamdulillah. Allah has rewarded me. So we say Alhamdulillah. I say Ameen. Shafakallah. Alhamdulillah. No? No, I'm not Shafakallah. I'm still sick. What does it mean? May Allah. So you use the past tense to show what's more certain, past or future? Can you change the past? Can you change the future? Is the future certain? No, it's not certain. When we say, Ata Amrullah, Allah's command will come, but it's so certain that we use Mahdi. That's what we say, will surely come. Jazakallah, Allah is definitely rewarding you. Shafakallah, Allah is definitely going to reward you, don't worry. Rahimakallah, Allah already has mercy on you. Done. You understand? Jazakallah. You follow? So this is where now you can use switch to Mahdi, Mudari, Mudari to Mahdi. This is giving you a little, little introduction of how things can change around. Much more details come to us with inshallah. But for now, let's get this in your mind. Okay? Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallah, humma, bihamdi, kawna, shadwa, la ilaha illa anta, wa nastaghfiruka, wa natubu ilayka.